again, I'm dealing with a lot of numbers, the facts uh, and the experimentation with the energies uh, of a universe. So the whole architectural science of Vastu as well as numerology and astrology revolves around the five elements. That's water, air, fire, earth, space, which we kind of balance in our client's life through taking the remedial measures uh, in their uh, house, office, and even in their life and we create the new energies. So coming to numerology, I'll uh, cover up my presentation in the three verticals, that's numerology, astrology, and Vastu. So when it comes to numerology, I've been practicing it for almost eight to 10 years, but professionally I started five years back uh, where I have had a lot of clients and num numerology, I do not need your uh, time of birth or place of birth. And it's purely based on, again, Chaldean and Pythagorean uh, theory of numbers where we kind of make grids. It's not about that you're born on 20, so you are two. There is much beyond that where we see the sequence of numbers, the gridding, and every number is associated with the planet. So the one to nine means one to nine planets. So we kind of balance the energies of the numbers missing, and we try to create it through our remedies, either by uh, giving the Vedic ones or the body wearing, or even a lot of uh, other remedies uh, which we give once the client's uh, chart is available to us. And uh, in numerology, uh, my forte is business numerology because uh, I have had a lot of clients uh, who are running business but they're not able to get the kind of results which they're looking for. So there they happen to uh, approach uh, consultants like me uh, where we check out the business uh, name as well as their registration date, which works as date of birth of the business. You know, So we kind of work on the future trend that this year, which planet is dominating, same with their person numerology again as to what kind of trend needs to be followed suppose it is a uh, planet uh, five then it's a perfect number that is mercury for the planetary position to give them success in the business then we tell them to venture in what kind of a work same goes for their employees seeing their numbers we tell them whether they should go into investments this year or other returns or the planning or the research and with this uh, insignias or the, um, the boards, where to be placed with Vastu being uh, incorporated into it. Plus, I also look into their logos. So this is the way we work on that. And uh, uh, finally, I got into Vastu because all the three fields are interrelated. It's all about the energies. When we talk about numbers and the planets, same comes with the energy. So when we do the Vastu, we do the, I have been doing the Vastu of their home the industries as well as the offices it is more about uh, you know checking out which particular area is suitable for their work which area is suitable for uh, kind of having a living room or study or uh, sitting plus a lot many times it happens that a person might be buying that standard north facing houses because that's what the whole youtube videos and the reels say but there's much beyond it because there are astrological significance for the people who believe in it. So I, uh, I strongly believe that the client should be approaching me if they have the faith. Then we work on that. And it is purely science because me, who's from a science background, I never got convinced till the time I found out the reason, how does it work? So when I do a Vastu or numerology astrology, I try to convince the client according to how do the energies work. Coming to the Vastu, like I just mentioned in the previous slide, that we work on the five elements. But how do they work? Uh, I cannot explain it right now, uh, but definitely I'll give you a quick outline uh, by taking one odd, uh, say, case, like I do it for residential and commercial sites. So we do proper grid analysis. We take a accommodation there, uh, map, the actual map with them, plus I have my own draftman and my team who we grid the map, uh, and we check out the geopathic force, the magnetic field, and the it's not about the four direction, it's about the 16 direction, 42 energies, and 32 deltas. So what we do is we kind of grid it, and accordingly we see which are the cut zones, which are the balance zones, and we try to work on them. And uh, this time I'm just, just going to take a quick case study, which I did couple just last month. So you on your left, you can see this uh, slide where I have an apartment with a red line here. So there was a, my client was staying in one apartment, which is on the one side of it. And he did fantastically well, and he could afford to buy the adjacent apartment also. So in between, he broke the wall and suddenly he felt that the things are not going the way they were going. You know, so it happens many times we change the residence and the new residence might be giving a different vibration. It can be good, it can be bad, or it can just be the same. So what happens when you immediately change the central wall, the center of your accommodation, that is the energy generating point, the Brahmasthan changes. And the minute the Brahmasthan changes, all the balance zones 
which are the earlier giving you positive results or maybe it was giving negative and later on it can be changed to positive but in this particular case they had lots of problem so on the right you can see how do we grid you know this is just a picture where i've overlapped the uh, my grid and just to show you so a lot of balance the north which was balanced got an imbalance and accordingly i started uh, working on it and today they have a much better result we put remedies which i'll talk about later we have elements we have uh, color decor feng shui is all about decor and uh, placement of objects vastu is beyond it we work from the foundation of the construction of the build building plus in apartments we put up the remedies we don't do break uh, anything like major breaking uh, happening in the apartment is not allowed so we kind of uh, inculcate an energy through various uh, remedies and channelize the energy of the cut and the imbalance zones. This is the way we work. Coming to my training bit, I have been training a lot of the budding consultants offline and online. I've been taking sessions here on numerology where we discuss case studies and my mentors. My mentors call me to mentor the budding consultants where I work. So I've been doing it on Vastu. I've been doing for numerology and on the my army front also because in army we change residence every posting. So we cannot balance the Vastu. So I give important tips so that the army wives and arm, army wife welfare association they can go about inculcating in their houses. That's the way I work. Now coming to the products, when I give remedies, I do. I'm a vendor and I'm a wholesale dealer of a lot of crystal gems in Rudrakshas and crystals have come in uh, limelight from last five years because people cannot afford to wear gems plus gem wearing one gem throughout life does not work because the planetary position according to your major and minor period which is Mahadasha and Antardasha it changes so the crystals have taken over where we provide in the form of bracelets men don't like to wear it so they can wear these pendants in the keychain and uh, they can have cluster or a bunch in their wallets also then coming to Rudraksha, it has a strong, strong energy field. It is considered as a very uh, spiritual bead. And depending on how many faces it has, it has the similar effect. And uh, that's all about my journey.